Hello everybody, my name is Armstrong Gossas and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a simple smudge painting of this. Stay tuned. Alright, so what we have here is our celebrity, as you can see I'm in Photoshop CC and um it's a celebrity i got from instagram she's a nigerian i'm a nigerian as well um, her name is omotala jolade so um i'm going to start real quick to save time i'm going to start by cropping out the picture um to take off the instagram environment and then after cropping i press enter to show that and i'm trying to crop right now with the pen tool i use the pen tool I custom made it as p to make it easier for me so with the pen tool i'm cutting out the hair i'm just trying to cut out the background to give it my background at the end of the day because it doesn't make sense to have art that has another person's background you know the person is going to be like oh that's my background i took the picture there that this is not art you're just copying and pasting right so i'm just taking out the pen to cut out and um, what she where she is it's a plain background anyway but i just want to give it my background i want to have a complete control over over things i'm not a control freak but if i have a, if i have a lot a, a strong control over this i think i'm going to take advantage of the fact that i have a control over this all right so we've cut it then with okay let me go back and show you with control and enter I've selected the layer after cutting it out and then with Ctrl and J, I've duplicated it. You see? To take off the background. So I made a new layer to take off this former one. So with this, um, I'm zooming and zooming out with Ctrl, Space and you click, you zoom in. To zoom out, Ctrl, Alternate, Space. You see it's a minus sign now to zoom out. Yeah. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is I'm trying to keep this video real quick and next time we are going to do is um to save yeah Photoshop CS6 crashes so much you just don't want to okay we save it as um Omotola Yeah and then save Photoshop CS6 crashes so much and you don't want to be caught up in that hole of um, it's crashing and you're just deep into your project okay with this i'll make another layer i've duplicated it now there's no i just duplicated it so that when i'm working on this new layer it doesn't get to um affect the previous one so what i want to do next is i want to just make take off the too many highlights and i want to give the picture my own feel i want to give it my own highlights highlight is like the nose, the hair, all the places that are shiny, then the mid-tones are the normal, and then the shadows are something like this. Okay, so I press OK. Now you can see the previous, you can see this one now. Then Ctrl J, I would come here and put either vivid light or linear, linear light. There's vivid light and there's linear light. You see, they have almost the same result. So I'll choose vivid light. Okay, no hard light now. Vivid light. I'll come to this filter. I'll go to high pass. See, it's sharp and it has popped up automatically. So, just done that and then I press enter. So, you can see the difference already. This and this. You see, it's looking like a cartoon already. It's already popped up. And let's say um, in four minutes, you you're almost a, a cartoonist. Congratulations. You made it to the first round of the competition. Clap for yourself. If I were you, I'll clap for myself. So, yeah. Besides, if you've not followed Armstrong Sars, please make sure to follow Armstrong Sars on Instagram, on Twitter, and subscribe to this YouTube channel. All right. So, the next thing we're going to be doing is cutting out the different components. I'm going to be cutting out the hair. By, by the way, I'm saving every instant i'm going to be cutting out the hair so i'll zoom in to get the real definitions and then i'm just going to cut out the hair 
with the pen tool. By the way, when I started, I was using the um, magnetic lasso. At the point, I was using it was not just the magnetic lasso. I used many um, tools. Now, the reason I like the pen tool is because it gives you a definite um, picture. Uh, it it cuts the exact part you want. It's not like the okay. I think at the point I was using the magnetic um this quick selection. Yes, but it doesn't work on most pictures. Now this is the reason. Um, the reason is because um Photoshop is is soft. It's not a human being, and so it's just going to behave on. It's going to act like it was programmed to on codes. Right, so I think you need to learn how to use all these tools. Um, um, the magnet, the lasso tool is not bad, but I prefer using this. This gives me a strong and complete control over what I'm doing. You can, you can see I can bend the lines the way I want it to go. See, I can bend the lines how much I want it to be, and just take, just have a complete control over everything i like it when the art comes out the way i want so with the control enter as usual and then i duplicate the hair and where I, I want to select the shirt this is a simple trick just select all the layers the shirt is affected with and then just take out the layers that you don't want and then that's how you get it okay so next i want to do is take out the the face so come here and choose out so now the reason I make take out the different um, components of the body is because taking them out gives me um, um, a feel it gives me a control like I would say a control <laughs> gives me a control of of um, the edges of the okay I would explain you, you would really not get that now but I'll explain that as we go on so I selected the shirt with the hair now the next thing I'm going to do is Ctrl J. I've duplicated it, and you see that looking at it, you see we have the hair here. But when you click this thumbnail with Ctrl down, holding Ctrl, and you click this thumbnail, that's where the hair is selected. It shows you everywhere the hair is selected, and then you press Backspace or Delete, then you have just the shirt. You can do that with multiple layers. Okay, I remember going to visit a friend once, and he. Um, Okay, before, before I explain that joke, I would, I would just cut out the hair, the head, the way I did that, I would duplicate this. Now, I'll choose the shirt, the thumbnail shirt, the thumbnail of the shirt, I'll delete it. For the hair, I'll delete it, and then you are left with just the face. Right? But I like leaving the hair on the face, you know, I just like this type. So we'll save as usual. Then the next thing I'm going to do is, oh, right, before I continue, all right, let, let's do this before we say the jokes. Yeah, jokes, jokes second, work first. So I want to cut out the eyebrow. Now the eyebrow is part of the body. I'm not, I'm not really cutting it out as, um, I'm really not cutting it out as something that's distinct. I would, um, I want to oil paint it, right? But I want the I want them to be on a separate layer. You can oil paint them. You can choose them, and then select um, and then oil paint it on um, the body. But Photoshop CS6 just mind crashes, so I, I I don't want to go down the rabbit hole. Can you imagine that I've done this tutorial video before? Then I noticed that my screen recorder was just. Um, so I'll name this lashes. My screen recorder was having issues, so I just so I'm like, oh, I have to do it again. And then here I am doing the whole tutorial again. I was supposed to release this video two weeks back, but I, it, it just had too many flaws, and I felt um, anything worth doing is worth doing well. So I hope you like the tutorial video. I hope I hope you don't get bored. I, I really don't have a, a life um, a long duration for. Um, staying up to like having that time out to always to listen for a long time. I really I get bored easily, so I hope this doesn't bore you. 
uh, like I'm select I'm selecting the eyelashes now as you can see I'm, I'm just with the control J on that particular layer now don't go and control J a new layer always make sure that when you're control J anything you you want to make you want to be on this layer this layer and after that I've saved as usual then the next thing I'm going to do is this I want to oil paint so we we'll go to CX um, CC 17 sorry this we are in CS6 right now so the next thing I want to do is just okay sorry for unlocking that no no not that all right so with this the hair Ctrl J I'll choose the linear light I want to make it sharper so with linear light and high pass this is what I get but then I'll turn it down a little bit I want the hair to be super shiny and then with this I'll Ctrl J it because I don't want it to affect the layer beneath and oil paint and it pops up okay so with the oil paint now a lot of people don't know how to do oil paint so this is like an oil paint tutorial still of the hair so we'll go with something like this we can turn off the shine just just play with it the cleanliness a little bit you know just we're just playing with it we want to see what it gives we can turn off the shine a little bit but the cleanliness just makes it um, super clean and super sleek then the stylization just makes it um, straight up. You would not believe I had to cut out the part of this video because Photoshop just crashed. Like I was saying. Okay, this is the lashes. Sorry, I made a mistake here. This is the eyebrow. Yeah. Okay, so with this, I can duplicate it I want to make it a little bit sharper with the linear light and hypers you see but then I'm going to, to bring it down a little bit I just I just like making what I do sharp now the reason is when you make it sharp um you help Photoshop see this is where this line is this is where this line is it, right um I'm not really an artist I never knew how to draw I remember people laughing at me growing up that hey this guy doesn't know how to draw and everybody in the class knew how to draw i couldn't sing either i can't sing either but i mean it doesn't mean i'm deformed okay so i'm going to i am um, painting the eyebrow now this is too much for, for for an eyebrow you know girls women like the shading in their eyebrow and then you turn down the shine a little bit and you know, bring down the cleanliness. I hope it doesn't crash. Okay, save. And the lashes, same thing. Okay. Okay, for the lashes, we have the same thing. Now you just zoom in to see what you're doing and then for the lashes i like turning down the turning up the cleanness a little bit so i don't, I don't get to work on it too much and the stylization i don't like making it much and then i'll save then after all this okay i just want to work on the shirt I want to try to oil paint. I normally don't oil paint the shirts, but let me just try and see how this looks. And uh, as usual, or high pass it to give it a feel. Enter, Ctrl J, then oil paint. Let me see how it's gonna look like. You remember, I want to turn up the cleanness a little bit, crank it up. Oh, nice lines. Okay, now that's too much. That's too much. Way too much. Right, this is what we get for the shirt it's not bad so we're going to save i'm going to leave here and go to cx cc 17. all right so we're in cc 17. 
and then in the first we're going to do is we're going to make increase the image size from 70 to 300 so I just want to increase the resolution by the way this is me waiting for you to like follow me on Instagram subscribe and on Twitter too I don't have many Twitter followers so I would appreciate that and I have another profile I create with Armstrong um, it's upcoming I, I want to always give a shout out to people and see their works and comment them and you know so I think I think it's pretty nice so just take out your time yeah yep I'm waiting for you right while I'm waiting for for the image size I'm waiting for you so yeah have you done it have you done okay you should have done it so after that you just notice that the um, particles are a lot compact now if it I, I, I can show you the difference why I need to turn it up a bit now this is how it was before hello blurry and this is how it, it is now sharper sharper than normal all right so without wasting much time i want us to start smudging with the ctrl j and then with and i want to clip clip mask now with holding down alt on the layer key i'll click it and there's a custom brush i got online after five years of searching I finally got this and it's super nice it just makes your work work easier but before I do that um, I want to merge the eyebrow layer to the main face of course they are part of the main face so I'm just going to um, take off this now this is how the eyelash was before and this is the new one I know you might like it you might prefer this old one but I'll show you why then this is the former and this is the new one it's oil paint right so ctrl j okay not that so i'm going to merge this then ctrl alternate e to merge i'll just take it down to this clip it with it and then enter i hope this video doesn't take it's taking long already i hope you are not bored okay my brush size is 30. i hope you're not bored already and you're like oh what kind of video is this please just stay with me they say fortune favors the brave so are you brave are you brave all right so i'm just going to be smudging i'm going to make the um, smudge brush small uh, it will help me a lot i don't i don't i just don't want to rush into it and come up with a stupid result at the end of the day i see some people right i've been on instagram and i've seen a lot of jobs with smudge painting as well some people argue it's not really art yeah i i agree with them i do i really don't argue but it wouldn't be bad making a few bucks as an artist when you're not even one i think it's actually smart see i think it's smart so so this is also a video on how to make box as an artist when you know even one. Oh, I think I th that should be like a movie movie name. So as you can see, I'm I'm smudging it and I'm taking my time to not. I'm taking my time to not um make it make the brush too big and I'm just following the symmetry of the face. Now, the reason I'm making it, I'm just smudging is to make it smooth, really, really smooth. If I could make it smoother than, than an egg, I think I'll do that. Just make it smooth, just remove the unnecessary harsh details. I'm using 30, I would go back, like the cheek now, here, it's really not as smooth as should be. But I'll come back with a softer brush, I think that would blend the colors more. But for now, I'm just, I'm just smoothing out this to give it a nice feel. You can smudge along with me. You can just smudge and watch me. 
I think this is just basically they call it smudge painting because of this process. I think this process just has a lot to do about the painting and what it entails and how it is. Now this is the reason I clipped. I, I, I think I didn't remember I didn't um, explain why. Okay, for example, this is not here. And take for example, this is the hair. Alright, let's, let's just take it back to where it was before. And I want to clip. This is it. Now you notice that. Let me crank it up a bit. If I'm if I'm clipping now, the reason this is like this is because of the hair above it. Now you notice that when I'm smudging, it just it's not definite. But then if I clip it here, everything falls into the layer that I've clipped it to. Do you understand? So when you clip, it falls into the layer that I've clipped it to. So let's go back. By the way, to go back is control and it's space. Oh, I have an experience too of Photoshop. I really did not know Photoshop had a go back more than once. I thought it was just control Z. And at the point I would go, I would have some um, nice jobs with just this little blemish. I just want to go back like more than three times. I can't. So I have to quit the job and start over again. Now, it, it helped me uh, learn Photoshop controls the most, uh, more rather and it helped me a great deal but it was not easy starting off a project over again I, re I really wanted to do it so that was why i did it but then you, you don't just it's like your time is precious right like the time you need to watch this tutorial video you could have been doing something else for the guys maybe what um playing football watching a match by the way i'm a barcelona fan but watching a match, just in some fun ladies, I'm not going to say Telemundo. I'm definitely not going to say Telemundo. Okay. So I noticed the eyebrow was like the previous one, which is not the smudged one. So I'm just going to smudge it. Now, you're not, you're not, uh, I'm changing the. The brush size with the coily bracket. But you're not a computer, right? So you don't expect to smudge it and it looks like what a computer did. You just want to take your time with enough patience. I'm just trying to keep this video short and I hope it doesn't get unnecessarily long. So just just um don't go too harsh. Some people small right now the aim of art is to show how beautiful this person looks like how beautiful he is when he's painted or drawn right um, it's just to appreciate god's creature but then some some artists come up with this okay this, she's supposed to be a beautiful lady but some artists get done at the end of the day and they have an ugly person in my mind ah so, but stay tuned i think we're just i'm trying to fade out the edges of the eyebrow you know just trying to make it fit nothing really serious but just make sure okay i really did not know if i should speed up this process of some, this particular process of smudging or i should just play music at the background i can still play with my mouth if, if you don't mind ta -da 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 -da. By the way, I think I I I never I never um into um, music. I, I like music, but I I can't sing very well. My workers at the office they'll be like, "You can't dance, you can't sing." So what can what can you do? I uh, look at them and I smile, and I'm like, I can watch YouTube videos. Um, I'm living working, um, compilation of YouTube videos. I I just take so it on youtube i think it's i think it's a very nice innovation you get to learn a lot aside aside the fact that youtubers probably some get paid eventually but i think youtube is just a nice innovation where you can learn a lot of things with um, almost no, no money 
except you want to um, visit a, a personal website now for the lips i'm just going to follow the symmetry of the lips just going to smooth out the the base here the lips are never really smooth they're actually rough so i'm just not going to go too hard on it i'm just going to try to smooth out this make it nice smooth make it sleek but all this while i'm making sure i'm preserving the detail of her face like you don't want to have a different person and then i i, I worked on a project once that was like two years back was it two years back and the lady was very funny she said he doesn't look like him <laughs> she, she said she said um you this is a different person altogether I, I i can't take this then i had to go back and i noticed okay we are we have some errors definitely this is the normal face and this is this but we are going to smooth that out but just um smudge along with me and for the neck just going to follow the symmetry of the neck so i don't end up with something real bad Okay. Okay. By the way, I think the layer of the hair is off, so just I'm just going to on it, take it, make it on. I know this story is fast. I'm trying to keep it short. I don't want to have a two hours. That should be a tops, um, probably an hour. I, I just don't want to make it too too long it's going to be boring okay so we're doing this i'm just going to go to by pressing 2 i'm making the size the brush strength 20 and i'm just going to smooth out this or i can make it 15 i'm just going to smooth out the um the graduation of our cheek i i don't want it to be too i will notice but don't worry we can we can still fix it up after now would fix it up and even if it's not her perfect face but we're going to fix it up and make it look sweet like sweet what is sweet what is sweet why do you think it's sweet what comes to mind when you hear sweet chocolate or money okay this is the first stage now um this these errors are a little bit deliberate so that you know how to go about it when you have errors still now after this the next thing i'm going to do is creating a new layer that i'll put the different lights of the different um parts of the face you remember remember i'm a new layer now this is a new layer but you can still come out to this old layer and work on this part of the face Work on this part of the face. She's just going to give her a feel, a nice feel. All right. So here, I'm just going to use my paint tool. I'm going to cut out this place. This is the eyes. I'm just going to cut it out. You will learn how to use the paint tool with time. And this is not a tutorial of how to use the paint tool. Because using the paint is vast, so you can get a tutorial. I, 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 I might just as well do a tutorial video later on how to use the paint tool. Okay, now this is too much. I'm just going to pick a color from the eye here with the color picker. Now I want something bluish. Okay, I can choose this and then just make it blue. I want something bluish. That's yeah, I think this is nice. I will show you why. Just follow my steps. I don't have the smoothest smudge um, but you can just take time to smooth out yours I'm trying to keep this video short and with this I can select the boat choose the brush tool okay I can't see okay a brush choose the brush to reduce it with the 
don't mind my system sometimes it just goes it's not as fast then okay, probably select a color and eye color just paint it here just paint out the eyeballs so we always almost have the same thing but then i think the eye has um a little reddish stuff i don't know what it's called law students know that i'm a law student i'm an artist i'm a youtuber so next we're going to do is create the lips this is for the eyes so i'm going to create for the lips so i'm just going to go over the same process pick out this her lips Okay, then I'll select it and use eye drop tool. I can just pick out a place that I know would be would be universally acceptable. Okay, I'm just going to try it. This turn it to color. This doesn't look bad, but just I'm just going to make make it a little reddish. Okay, control enter out. Oh, okay, I think we might just have to go with the previous color. I don't know which it is. Okay, I think this is going to be nice. Then with the brush, I'm just going to pick out um, just layers that are brighter than normal. I'm going to with the brush too. I'm just going to paint to white. You know the um, the, the lips has. A graduation a layer graduation and it's nice especially for those that have good lips like mine I know you want to see mine just imagine having anybody that has the best lips in the world okay so with this I'm just going to choose the face color now that's going to blend with the whole face okay, I don't want something then color hmm no I don't like that color let's go for something more orangey okay don't take too much time on the color because you are going to work on you're going to work on it later you can tweak the color it's Photoshop then for the shirt I'm just going to do the same thing since I've worked on the shirt there's no need um, stressing I'm just going to choose a color I don't want something too sharp I'm just going to choose a color here bring it down a bit then change it to color ah this is too much this is not what I want you can just keep doing that so you get what you want something nice okay this is not bad and for the hair still choose a color for the hair the hair has variations of colors. It's always an issue I have. Play for ladies' hair. Um, now nah, I want something bluish to show it's cool. And oh no, this is too much. She should be looking like one of those Marvel characters. I'm not working on a Marvel character today. I'm working on a Nigerian, a simple Nigerian like that. Okay, so this is what we have. So enough. Like it's already popped up like an ad already. So next we're going to do is just I want to it, it the face doesn't look realistic. You would see it's dull. So I just want to paint over this. Make sure it's on color. Let me put um black spots. I don't mean black spots like after you have a pimp on your face. I don't mean the kind of black spot. Black spots can turn down the opacity and then just paint over here to make the to make it pop up then with this can do the same thing for the eye G 
do something for the eyes but make sure the eye is very delicate so just make sure you don't go too hard going too hard let me just ruin everything you've done and you just just play around with a soft brush nobody ever died from trying i will tell you this if you don't get it the first time don't lash out on yourself i'm learning a few softwares now right and i'm doing it with the mentality that i that I came in when I'm when I started Photoshop. Okay, okay, I noticed that the eye here is too harsh. So I'm just going to erase it a bit. And with this, I'm going to um the hair, the graduation of the hair. The earrings I'm just going to make it I, I, okay I'm just playing around with colors right now then after this the next thing I'm going to do is this this is normal face graduation and I want to make it like this so the next thing I'm going to do is with the bone tool this is the bone there's um, mid-tone shadows and highlights now I'm choosing the mid-tone the, mid, the mid-tone is this part of the face okay this is the mid-tone, this is the highlight, and these are the shadows. See, right? The normal part of your face is your mid-tone. So with the bone tool, I made it custom-made, or you can choose which one you want. With the bone tool and a mid-tone, okay, I can just, just duplicate this layer so that I don't have something destructive. With the mid-tone, I can just look at her face and then see how our face came out all right so i think i'm not i'm not so bad after all i'm not so far from the main thing now if you don't get exactly how it is don't lash out. that's why it's hard just don't lash out on yourself and um i'm going to leave a link to the um, brush description where i downloaded it from so you all don't get to spend seven years looking for it the way I did. <laughs> it's just not to seven years. So it's just like um a year or two. I really downloaded a lot of brush. I think I downloaded a lot of brush. I can't remember how. How many, right? Rather. Mm. But it was a lot. And I'm going to be releasing a tutorial videos on how to make it as an artist on Instagram. Okay, now don't make the shading too much. If you make it too much, it looks old, right? Um, old people come with shadings, but I'm trying to just keep it short. And... So that been done. This is what it was before. This is what we have now. I'm just trying to make out uh, the um, the face definite, you know. Now for the hair, I'll duplicate this, and I'm going to do the same thing. Yeah, I'm just going to make the split the mid tone. Just going to make uh, this part very dark, and I'll highlight still. You can do the hair whichever way you want to, but this is just how just, I'm just going to do it today to just make it nice and have a good feel. Have this goddess look. She's, she 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 looks like a goddess. So if you're an Nigerian too, you can remember there was a movie she acted. I think the name was Blood Blood Sisters. I can't remember Blood Sisters here. Yeah. So she acted this movie, and I was I was um in. I was like barely 10 and we saw the movie in the night if you remember the movie was about ghosts how she died how her sister killed her and she died and came back many years later <clears throat> not years she was just hunting her sister and i could remember blood sisters Bam. ah could i sleep no i couldn't i went to my cousin's room i told her i can't sleep 
by the way i miss her so much i miss my cousin but i thought i can't sleep and <sighs> wow the movie haunted me it was like conjuring i saw conjuring in my final days in school right and i was feeling like oh i'm grown now so i can see whatever movie i want to never but it was not how it was as you can see i'm just on the I'm just giving highlights because I feel like the face is the light is coming from up here, so I'm just highlighting some parts to make it pop up. You know, nothing special. Just learn about lighting. Just take out a few days. Learn about lighting. How the light, how light falls on the face, the part of the face that has so much light. You know, you notice that you just become good at it. So I saw conjuring, and I was trying to feel like oh, I'm supposed to be a boss by now. But I wasn't a boss by now. I wasn't a boss by now. Take notes. I was so scared that evening. I couldn't watch everything. So I just watched the part that I felt was nice. Okay, so this was I just we're just gonna keep it short for the hair. For the hair, we're just gonna keep it short. I don't want to make it too. I don't want to make it unnecessarily detailed and boring. Now for the shirt, just pretty simple as well. I'm always duplicating it because I don't want to go back. By the way, you can press Ctrl S, but I'm safe with um, CC. I'm safe with CC 17. I've noticed that I need the highlight to work on this part of the shirt, work on the shirt in, in, entirely. You know you don't you just don't need to you just don't need to be super super perfect in it you're not supposed to be i mean god we are not you're not god so so when you hate um highlights you can make them a custom brush because i use them every time i just went to preferences with the ctrl k and i made it what i want so with that, you can just, as you can see, I just made a simple light. You see, the shirt is nice already. So we just the mid shadows, mid tone and highlights. Everything has popped up. So that it's the same with the face, but the face is more complex. So with this, I'm just going to, I'm just going to reduce the shine a bit with mid tone. Just going to reduce the shine of others a little bit. Okay, I'm just going to shoot the highlights. See, with the highlight, I'm reducing this the shine on the nose here. If you want to uh, make, um, say, a bright shirt, you want to make, don't want to make it as sharp as that, you can use the highlights. Mid tones wouldn't work on it because it's a bright shirt. So, with that, I'm just going over highlight, mid tones, and shadows. You might never really get another tutorial video on highlight mid tones and shadows this detailed because um, they don't really use it much, but I do use it. And I think I'll pass for a makeup artist. So please tell me what you think. Would I pass for a makeup artist? Tell me what you think. If I'll pass for a makeup artist, just tell me so, and then give me a name. Armstrong's makeup studios and collections future and oh I like her nose. Um anytime I always paint nose, I'm always remembering a joke I was told me when Michael Jackson died, they said he died because his nose fell off. And while I was in school I was like, Oh Americans, they make the nose so long it wants to fall. But that was not true. As kids, you know, you, you get I think if you don't get told some funny lies as kids, you, that means you have a, a very, very boring childhood. But don't lash out on yourself. You have, you are, if you had that kind of childhood, you have a chance to always make it, make it, have a better one, you know? So what I'm doing is I'm just playing around with colors, with highlights, mintons and shadows. Like I said, the smudge is not as smooth as I want it. I want it to be super smooth, super slick. I want I want you to look at it and your body will shiver. You're like, oh, this is good. 
okay this part of the hair is rough if you notice so i'm just i'm supposed to oil paint it but i really didn't then so i'm just going to smudge it a bit you know remember what we are doing is we're deceiving the eyes we're deceiving the eyes to be like oh this is what we get you know so this is what it was before this is what we have now it's not so far from the main thing you can just keep comparing and working on it comparing and working on it trust me your times are never wasted but just don't don't go too much on the details when you go too much on details you just don't get they say too many cooks do what too many cooks do what for those that really went to that really studied their idioms too many cooks spoil your breath right so just keep it simple always keep it simple even in your dressing right i'll see i'll see some ladies the sun is very hot i want to go home take some cold bath and just be on my bed and i'll see some ladies with some very hot some very um thick sweaters in the afternoon now the reason they are on those thick sweaters it's not because they like being on thick sweaters but <laughs> that's what goes for trains and they have to be in, they have to be in so much um, um sweat for a long time because they have to prove um, prove to be nice and trendy and Nicki Minaj by the way I like I like Nicki a lot I think I like a lot of people but I don't have a chance to tell them so I'm just going to keep telling my say it in my mind oh I like this person I like this person just in my mind though by the way if you know them you can tell them yeah they should call me no, 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 don't worry. No, no, they, they should call me. They should call me, please. Okay, so this is just basically it. No, I, I don't. I'm not feeling her jaw. Her jaw is too much. It's it's looking probably like a Roman Reigns kind of jaw. She's a woman, so I think I, I think it's because of the shadings here. We can just go over our face over and over and over again and you get a perfect result but your shading should not be too much like i said before so this is how it was this is how it is now so i think my shadings were too much so with the with the mid tones i think i'm just going to make the mid tones make it 20 my number pad and is to this by the way shadows is what makes it art like we art so with this i'm just going to proceed to the next without wasting much much time on this face layer i'm going to come to um okay probably the brightness turn out the brightness a little bit just just a minor touch and then with the selective color this I'm gonna be tweaking it to what I want she's fair but then I can tweak the yellow now it gives I like this because it is definite about what he's working on not too much just just a little bit of everything just a little bit of everything goes a long way then with the black i can make it you know when it's really black it just pops up and it's super nice you know the neutrals i can just tweak it by the way in the first video i really did not do this i don't think the first video was as long as this but it, it, it caught in some parts i really did not like Okay, this is how it was before, now this is how it is now. This looks... Okay, so I can just put in 16. And with the color balance, you can get what you want now. Okay, I like this. You can get what you want with 
the kind of person she is, you know. You really don't have to. So this is it. You might not really notice this um, difference so much, but those little colors they make a lot of difference. I want to um, make this more definite. It gives us the feel, the feel of perfection. I see a lot of people work on some projects, and I tell them, nobody. Um, so I heard something yesterday, right? The person said, nobody's paying you for what you know. Nobody's going to come out to pay you to, for you to regurgitate what you know. No. The only thing they're paying you for is how you're going to apply what you know in, getting, in making some very good moves. That's the only thing anybody's going to pay you for. Right? So... I think I think it's pretty nice. Just can keep it simple. This is a long video already. I think we should we should have closed this video already. But then it doesn't look bad. It's not bad. So with this, I can I didn't touch the earrings. I could have oil painted it and then put the color, but it's not it's not looking so bad after all. So I'm just going to Control shift alternate E will merge every visible and I'll put everything in the layer. That's what I do. A layer. This is the previous. This is it now. This is the previous. This is it now. You might say the previous is better because I just noticed something on her cheek here. Okay, so I'm just going to smooth it out a bit. She doesn't have so much. She doesn't have a big cheek that much. So, okay, I think I know where it's from. You just have to put the highlight here. Yes, put the highlight here. Then put the shadows here. Okay, make it 20 to make it soft. Then put the shadows here. Not bad. Yeah, you can just go around. When you're done, you can just smudge it out to make the graduation nice, you know. You can just keep going on and on. I'm just going to leave it as this, but it's not so bad. Okay, okay. For the sake of keeping it a clean color. So this is it this is it so ladies and gentlemen if you watched it to this spot congratulations you are now an artist i didn't say a fake one i mean a real artist so congrats so just play with this just play with it a little bit just play with it a little bit there's never there's never been harm in trying this up a little and turn this down a bit whatever whatever just just play with it a little bit you'd you would notice you'd come out with something nice all right so with this i'm just going to put a simple background i like going with um probably a normal color then put with a brush i'm just going to put a gradient by myself Probably this kind of gradient. By the way, don't copy my style. This is the way. This is the way I do my thing. So, don't copy it. If you want to copy it, you just you have to pay, pay for it. This, I mean, the background. It's my normal way of making background. So don't copy my background. I don't want to go on Instagram and see seventy people using my background. I'm like, oh, that's that's how I make backgrounds. And they're like, oh, that's how we make backgrounds too. Like you stole from me, you guys stole my my shit. You stole, you stole, you stole from me. Okay, so with this, you just I think I'm pretty much at the end of the tutorial video. I hope you learned something. 
I hope it's 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 nice. I hope it's worth your time. Remember to subscribe um and follow at I'm Stronger Sass to get exciting new content. I'll be releasing videos soon on on how to uh, make it as an SD as a digital artist on Instagram. So make sure you put your name wait it it just gives this feel that hey this guy is in charge actually you're in charge so just pick it out but please just take it to the side don't make it too sh yeah something like this and you're good so thank you very much i'll see you guys in the next tutorial video thank you